Hi folks, this is Jay. Hope you're okay today. It's good to see you and we're just going to consider about Mormonism again. And the person might come along and say, look Jay, I'm really, really offended by you critiquing Mormonism. It's getting really up my nose. Have you ever been to a Mormon meeting? What do you know about Mormonism, etc.? Well, um, not so long ago, about a year ago, I bumped into some Mormon missionaries and I spent some time with Mormon missionaries and also they brought one of their apologists, uh, a well-known apologist in England, a Mormon apologist, and we had some debates and discussions. So I'm not completely ignorant of Mormonism. I also went to a Mormon church for a couple of weeks just to see what they were talking about and tried to listen. The, one of the things that I find disturbing is in Isaiah uh, 53, uh, 43, it says in verse 10, you are my witnesses, saith the Lord, and my servant whom I have chosen, that you may know and believe me, and understand that I am he. Before me there was no God formed, nor shall there be after me. In other words, the Bible teaches that there is only one God. And yet Mormon teaching um, specifically teaches that, that we can be gods. And yet there is only one God. Uh, Matt Slick says this, you think you serve the same Jesus that is in the Bible, but you do not. Mormonism has redefined who God is and redefined who Jesus says. Though your church uses the Bible, it has changed the doctrine concerning Christ, God and salvation. In Mormonism, God came from another planet as a goddess wife and as a body of flesh and bones. It all teaches that Jesus is the brother of the devil. This is not in the Bible and it contrary to the Bible. Furthermore, Mormonism teaches that God is only one of many gods in existence. Again, this is contrary to biblical teaching. Therefore, even though your church uses the same words, Jesus, God, Trinity, salvation, it does not have the same meanings. As for a celebrating sin goes, the Mormon church celebrates the fall of Adam and Eve because through the fall, Mormonism teaches that your exaltation is as possible. This is further error. You cannot become a god or goddess because the Bible says you cannot, etc. End of quote. So I hope that's uh, a help to you as a Mormon and I hope that you come to the truth to see that there is only one God and that you need to trust in the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Saviour. Thank you.